Hi guys, this video is to show you how to factory reset your Fitbit tracker. Keep in mind that once you factory reset it, you get rid of all of your settings and you will have to resync it with your account afterwards. If you want to do what they call a restart, you will keep all of your information and uh, basically just turns it off and on. If you need to restart, go ahead and check in the video description below and I have a video on that. But this video is how to do a factory reset which again wipes everything off of the device and sets it up like it's a brand new tracker. All right, here's what I'm gonna do for you guys. The first time through, I'm going to step through piece by piece very slowly uh, and explain exactly what it is that I'm doing. Uh, you probably won't see me push any buttons. Uh, that's probably because I'm not. I'll just explain everything. And then what I'll do afterwards is I'll show it to you in real time and I'll try to keep up and talk you through it um, but that way you get both a slow explanation and a real-time uh, reset. For the reset, all you're going to need are three things. The first is your tracker. The second is a USB charging cord. And the third is a USB power source. Now I've got my desktop here in front of me, but you should also be able to use a wall charger. All right, here we go for the slower walkthrough. Now the only button that I'm going to be utilizing for this reset is this one right here on the side of my tracker. And that's it. So first thing you're going to do, plug in your tracker to your power source so that it shows to be charging. Next thing you're gonna do is hold down this button for two seconds. And while you're still holding it down, you're going to remove it from the power source and then you're gonna to continue to hold it for seven to nine seconds. At that point, you'll release the button and push it down again, and this starts the reset sequence. After you've held it for a little while, it will say Alt-ALT on the screen, and a white screen will flash. That's, at that point, you need to release and then press down again. It will start to vibrate, then you release and hold it down again. Then you'll see it show error, E-R-R-O-R, -R -R across the screen. Then you'll release, and you'll hold it down again. And you keep holding it down again, it'll take a little bit longer, but then the word erase, E-R-A-S-E, -E, will show up on the screen. At that point, it will say off, and the tracker will shut down. That is the point, when you reach that point, you have actually shut everything down, and the reset uh, in order to complete it, all you need to do is power it back on. In order to do that, I suggest you plug it back in and just kind of wait until the lights start flashing again. At that point, go ahead and try holding down the button for about three to four seconds and it should spring back to life. If it doesn't do that, I found that sometimes just letting it sit on my desk, not plugged in for about a minute, and then messing with it again, pushing the button, uh, as if you were doing a, a first-time startup, uh, gets it to turn back on. At that point, uh, you should see on your screen the time says should say zero, zero, zero. If it says that, you've performed a successful reset. If not, there's a good chance that you missed one of the steps and you should try it again. Once your tracker is turned back on and the time says zero, 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 it's time to sync it with your account whether it be mobile or desktop, doesn't really matter. Just sync it with whatever device um, you see fit and it will go ahead and update the time and push all of your settings from your account to your tracker. One note that I wanna make is that after you push down the button, it shows ALT, Alt on the screen and then the white screen flashes. As soon as you release that button, it might start vibrating, I know mine did and then I immediately put my thumb back down and it kept on vibrating. Now at this point, just release and press the button again and that will push you on to the next step. So if it vibrates like that, don't worry, you are still on the right path. All right, regular speed now. Plug in the tracker, plug it into the power source, show that it's charging. Hold the button for two seconds. One, two, remove. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, release, and depress again. Alt and a white screen, release, vibrate, and press again. Release, air code, press, erase, release, press, and now it's turned off. So that should complete the reset. Plug it back in. And now the time has been set, reset to zero, 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 which means that everything is factory reset and you're good to go. You can now set this up as a new tracker uh, on your profile or on a new profile. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you need other help with your Fitbit tracker, go ahead and check out the video description below as it will have an updated list of all the Fitbit help videos that I've made so far, as well as the playlist that you can follow uh, as I add more videos.